Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the built-in halftone patterns in Illustrator. Before we begin, however, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. I have a coupon for you in the description below. This is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training for purchase at udemy.com and I've given you a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. Let's swing back to Illustrator. I'm going to create a brand new file. Mine's going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels in size, but you can create yours whatever size that you like. I'm going to add a rectangle that is the size of my artboard. So I'll go to the rectangle tool, click once, type in 1920 by 1080, click OK. I'm going to center this up on the artboard and I'll fill it with black for now and just remove the stroke. So now we need to look for the patterns that are shipped with Illustrator. You'll get those by going to the swatches panel. Now one thing about the swatches panel is that it depends on how you have it set up what you see here. And typically what I like to do is to go to this show swatch kinds menu, drop it down and choose show all swatches. That way you'll get to see all your swatches including gradients, patterns and these colors at the same time. Just makes things a little bit easier. To get access to the built-in half tones in Illustrator, you'll go here to the Swatch Libraries menu, click it and go up and select Patterns and then Basic Graphics and then Basic Graphics Dots. These are the half tone dots patterns. Now a lot of these are just dot patterns, but there are some half tones here and you can see them in the dialog. They're these little ones here that look a bit different to the others. We're going to select one of them, but there are a number that you can choose from. I'm selecting this one because it's a little bit easier on the eye and I don't want to make you feel sick as we're working here. As soon as you click on any one of these patterns, they're automatically added to the swatches panel. And so you can go ahead and close these swatches and just work from the swatches panel from now on. I'm going to close that because we don't need it. Now right now you can see that the pattern is repeating twice and that's going to be pretty typical of these halftone patterns. So we need to make it bigger to fit better. I'll choose Object, Transform and then Scale. Be sure to turn Preview on so you can see what's happening and disable Transform Objects. I'm just going to take this back to 100% because that would be the default. What we're going to do is transform this pattern and we're going to do it in a uniform way so we don't make the dots into ovals, for example. I'll click here and start pressing Shift and Up Arrow. So I'm just making this pattern bigger. Now if you go all the way to try and fit the pattern in the dialog, let's have a look and see what happens. Down here we've got really big dots and up here we've got little dots. So in actual fact there are some dots between this dot size and this dot size and we're missing out on them. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. What I'm looking for is that the dot size here is roughly equivalent to the dot size up here so that I can get the maximum impact from this pattern. And I think I'm probably about there now. These are pretty close in size, so I'll click OK. Now the difficulty is that we're confronting next is that we want to get these dots down here all the way up to here. Well, we do that by moving the pattern. Object, Transform and then Move. You want to zero out everything here to start off with. Make sure that Preview is turned on and again make sure that Transform Objects is not selected because we don't want to move the rectangle, we just want to move the pattern. And we're going in a vertical direction and we're going in a positive vertical direction. So I'm holding the Shift key as I'm pressing the up arrow key just to move this pattern down so that I can get a nice set of half tone dots here. And I can continue to move. There's a little bit of leeway. I didn't get my dots exactly the same size at the bottom and the top. And that's just fine. It's close enough. But now we get a good half tone pattern in our document. Now you can use this inside circles as well or any other shape. Let's just go and get an ellipse. I'll just drag out a circle and it's going to inherit that same pattern and it's going to inherit the same placement of that pattern. That's a really nice feature of this tool. Let me just go and get my layers palette and 
we'll turn off the rectangle. You can see that there is a pattern filled circle on top of everything. Now, one of the things that's really confusing about these patterns in Illustrator is how you actually go and recolor them because they're not as easy to recolor as you might think. The secret is to go to the recolor artwork tool. So select your shape. I'm just going to recolor the ones inside the circle. Click the recolor artwork tool. Now, before you go to the edit menu and start dragging this around to recolor this and discover that it doesn't work, let's have a look and see why it's not working. We'll go back to assign. And the problem is this little icon here, the little dash, we need to make it into an arrow. And you do that by just clicking on it. Black is a color that is protected by default. And so it won't recolor because there's a little dash there. As soon as you turn it into an arrow, all bets are off, you can recolor it. And so then we'll go to the edit tool, make sure you crank up your lightness here so you can see things and you can just drag your indicator around to color your circles to whatever color you want. I'll click OK. So there you have the half tone dots that are built into Illustrator as patterns. You also have a way of moving them around so they're going to work better inside the shapes that you're working with and a little tip for recoloring those patterns. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.